You know what, Angel Hernandez? You. Today on SB Baseball. And welcome to the SB Baseball Podcast. With you as always, I'm Alan. I'm RD. What's up? Oh, not much, brother. How are you doing today? Oh, just uh, you know, Wednesdays are our days to get together, and we we always had a ba- we always have a baseball show together, and I, you know we're baseball guys, right? Yeah, and we try uh, hard. We try hard. Try hard. You know who doesn't try hard though? Angel Hernandez. That guy is the fucking worst. Let me tell you something. He's awful. He is awful. Um, he's had so many instances this year of just. Here, here, here's how you know how bad he is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Name one other MLB umpire. I don't know. The, the old guy with the, the gray hair and the white chubby face. I can't think of his name. <laughs> you, you know one umpire's name because he's so awful. <laughs> like, he's so bad, you know who he is. Yeah. And it's just, he, you were kind of hoping maybe he doesn't come back this year, right? He missed most of last year with a back injury, but then he came back He he in 10 games. Let me let me just go ahead and restate that. In ten games, Angel Hernandez had one hundred and sixty-one bad calls. Oh God! Yikes! One hundred and sixty-one bad calls in ten games. That's sixteen bad calls a game. That's enough to change the outcome. Yeah. Right. That's, that's unbelievable. That's huge. Unless you're making eight for each team and it's equally as bad for each team, right? But come on, what are the odds of that? Because he had for... he had three bad calls against uh, Langford the other day, this last weekend, which I know we got some some uh, video of these calls. You wanna you wanna go ahead and bring up the video and let's take a look. I sure can. Um, so all right, which one do you want first? I have two. Let's let, let's do Langford. Let's do Langford first. Langford one. Okay, let me go ahead and make it. Uh, all right, da, 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 da. hold on, I went too far out. And then, oh man Jeez, i'm fine man. everything's fine here ah. calm down it's i'm not gonna play the full 38 seconds obviously but yeah all right you ready yeah let's do it all right this is from uh x from umpire auditor just to let you know okay and then let me make sure he's got sound on. sounds on all right let's go ball oh all right. Whoa. <laughs> two one. Oh. oh well and, no, that's ball. oh wait this. another strike that's two weird. two and ball. You oh, have no. got it's, to be kidding me. Just I love the announcer just losing his mind. <laughs> like he's so, just losing it. So on the next the next one you're playing, it's the it's kind of like the mashup of all of his bad calls. Mm-hmm. When you get to the Wyatt Langford one, pause it as he's walking away and they show his face because it's 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 priceless. Okay. Like it's it's the number one thing I know. Uh, I mean, obviously the the horrible calls, right? But yeah. his face as he's walking away, he's just dumbfounded by the fact that he just struck out on three straight balls. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and this one is titled uh, "Umpires Have Missed 942 Calls the Week of April 8th." There were these are the ten worst call strikeouts. All right, and, uh, and these aren't all Angel Hernandez. I think he's only got the one. It says but, the name too. It has the name, yeah. you know. So you'll and see how far the pitches were outside and and all that. So yep, yep, you'll see that. All right, all right. Now, let me add it and then let's get going. Uh, yeah, replay. Oh, hold on, no sound. I, I love the sound. There we go. This sounds good. And strike three with a fastball. Six strikeouts for seven thousand times. The second base is probably another one of those opportunities. In there, it's strike three. Throw. Try- Jax comes home. Hernandez strikes out, and Jax K's the side in the eighth. Oof. New pitcher deals. Strike three. It is gone. <laughs> ball pitch. Oh, he run him yeah. up on ball four. He's, that's oh, a man. first pitch off the ball. Run him up on ball four. Last three seasons. <laughs> Woo. That ball looks he goes, Woo. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> three point. Zero five inches, umpire CB Buckner. Now we're getting some we're getting some bigger numbers here, getting bigger numbers. So pay attention. Outside, but Whoa. 
No. no. Oh. That's way low. That was a gift for oh. Reed Garrett. He uses the low three-quarter delivery, so not using that leverage completely, and that ball is wild. You know what? I just want to pause it real quick. You see, like, when the, the hitter looks back at to him, and they're so damn cocky. Like, yeah, no, that's a strike. Get your ass it, in the bench. Well, and you see you see the pitchers. They turn around right away, and they're oh, just like, I, I they got away with that one. Yeah. <laughs> now, listen, I'll, I'll say this. You know, we're, we're, we've got probably another – uh, 20 seconds of this stuff, right? And obviously, um, uh, Ryan Wills about to come up, and this is 4.87 inches away. But uh, I'll say this, and this is how I've always kind of been with baseball. If you've been calling it this way the entire game, it's open. You know what I mean? You're in the top of the seventh in this game. A lot of these other uh, innings were well into the game. If you've been calling it that way, you've been given the inside pitch or given the outside pitch, given the low. Some of them are un incredibly low. Like, there's no excuse for one that damn near skips in there. Right. So, but, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to say that, that, you know, that's my piece. All right. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Let's go. It's too oh, damn low. Wow. Really? That's not even close. <laughs> two, two. Here we go. Get ready to pause it. Seven inches outside, 6.78 inches outside. This is Houston Astros uh, hosting the Texas Rangers. You know, it's eight one. I, it's, it's like, I think the, if I'm not mistaken, it's like the seventh or eighth inning, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. But it's, uh, you know, he's got to catch that early bird special. He's got shit to do. The lady's texting him between innings. You know, when are you going to be home? He's like, I got you. I, I got it. All right. He's paid you by the game up at the time. Get ready to walk <laughs> around his face. Okay. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What right. in the world? Oh, oh. What? You missed it there. His look. The look, the look on Langford's face as he's walking away. Where yeah, he's just right like. <laughs> Yeah, let's go for a second because you know they're like even the uh the the, the cameraman and whatnot following you know what i mean they're like we're not going to sit here and show them arguing or bitching about it or whatever it's just fine but yeah i mean you're talking seven inches outside that's insane in the world yeah and he's just sitting back there and it, it, the biggest joke i think of all of, of whatever it's like you know it, he stared at the sun during the eclipse and shit he's like you know and it didn't affect his vision at all <laughs> You've got the, the the meme that I sent you, where it's uh, Angel Hernandez miss call, miss call. And it's just Angel Hernandez, like on, on like an iPhone. Calls, yeah. Yeah. yeah, all all Angel Hernandez. But it's just M MLB fans are they're they're up in arms. Um, he had a bunch of horrible calls on April seventh with the the Blue Jays and the, and the Yankees, and it's. You had one where the pitch was three inches high. The pitcher stepped stepped off the rubber before the pitch, and Angel Hernandez is like strike three. You 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 had another one where the pitcher threw well above the strike zone, and the fans started chanting "Angel sucks" and "You Angel" in the yeah. first inning. In the in the first inning, they're like, "You're awful." I don't um, understand how he still has a job, to be honest with you, just because, like, you know, when you're sitting, say say you're at a, in a, a little call collaboration, you know what I mean? You're like, hey, sit down. We're going to go through your calls this week. We're going to take a look at this. He goes, the hell's going on here? You know what I mean? And there's no, what are you saying? You know, oh, I'm oh, I'm sorry. I set up on the outside or I set up on the road. You know, I don't understand really what's going through his head where he's like, yeah, no, this is totally okay. Because this shit's been going on for years. This shit's been going on for decades at this point. I, I think we had the stat because we talked we talked MLB umpires just overall in general, um, and I think the stat was like they're they're correct like ninety four percent of the time, right? I think that's where we're at. I, I'm talking about overall umpires yeah. are about like eighty four or ninety four percent. His percentage is eighty six percent accurate. Eighty six percent, like he is by far the worst umpire in baseball. Like it, it, it falls in line with the the same theory that I have with pitchers, right? Where you have a pitcher who comes in and gets rocked every time he comes in. He's got an ERA of twenty point two, and you're telling me there's not a kid you can bring up who can do better, right? Like at this point in time, let's 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 bring in the kid up, Lantham. Let's put the kid in. I guarantee you, the kid does better. I, I just don't get how twelve. I don't get how he still has a job. Like, how are you still employed? Like, it, it, what, like, what dirt, what shit do you have on somebody? Oh, he's got something on somebody. That's what right. I'm saying. Like, there's some reason why he's still employed. 
is is he married to like the the commission's like daughter or something like that right but it's really kind of like a hostage situation she got munchausen syndrome right and so they, they ended up he kidnapped her but now they're really in love and now they're married and stuff like i don't i don't get it like i wish i could be that bad at my job and still have it like unbelievable like i just phone i come in i just phone in and every day i screw up every day um and they're so, just like you know what that's okay so kind of like what you do but you still got you you're the angel hernandez at your company i don't know about that because i'm telling you what you mess up once and they're on you. you you mess up once in like three years you're like what are you doing i'm like what i just <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand where, where was my praise when i was doing good the last three years i, ma I made one mistake yeah well that's that ain't gonna cut it around here that what do you mean you gonna cut? what about billy that dude's up every day <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah no i i just i don't get it and this is something else too like every every time we do an umpire show or whatever it's uh, i don't know who these people are that are coming to the defense i think it's just their anti-robots or some I, shit like someone even mentioned he goes just bring in the uh the automated uh pitch pitch zone he goes you put it up on the big board the crowd fucking loves it. I got apparently they're doing it in like double A or triple A or some shit like that well, right they now. Still, they still have the umpire back there. The umpire's still there. Yeah. It, it, it's like a whisper in his ear, ball strike. Yeah. And so he makes the calls, uh, but he's there to, you know, call safe and out and that, um, or you know, fine with. and all that. He's still yeah. there, but it's, a, it's the machine telling him balls and strikes. That's yeah. fine. I'm okay with it. Let's get it right. Now, if here's the, if, if every umpire had like a 95% consistency consistency rate, then you leave them all, right? But the problem is you got guys like Angel Hernandez that are just trash at their job. Just just garbage. Yeah. He's I I, I don't get it. Like I, I don't understand how he still has a job, how he's still doing it, because he's affecting games. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. You're, you're affecting games and you're affecting the outcome of games. Someone needs to look into his betting accounts. That's uh, what needs to happen. I was going to say the same right. game, but his brother-in-law or some shit like that's just making a killing. You Is he I mean? best friends with Jonte Parker? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm telling you, if you get if you get rid of this guy and the averages go up tonight, like I, I don't want, listen, I, I've said this a million times too, I don't want the robot umpires. I don't want that shit. I don't want the automatic, you know, but if this is what I'm getting, I'm like, I want to strike a strike, but if you get me 95%, I'm cool with that, but you can't. Sure. Yeah. Unless you get rid of this guy. If you get rid of this guy, all the averages go up. Everything yeah. goes up. And it's not like, so like there was, there was that video that I think we talked about last time where that umpire, he made a bad call on, on a strike. Right. And mm -hmm. he called it a ball. And then as the, when he goes to go check the pitcher, you know, at the end of the inning, he, he tells him, he goes, hey, man, my bad. I missed that one. Right. That's cool. The dude owns his mistakes. Angel Hernandez stands by it. Oh, no, he celebrates him. Yeah. Like no, he'll miss, he, again, that at bat that we showed to Langford, he missed three straight calls. Like if you miss the first one, OK, you'll pick him up on the next two. Right. No, mm -hmm. he's stuck to his guns. And yeah. it just and he's like, yeah, no. And the fucking ball was, uh, excuse me, the ball just kept <laughs> going further outside. It was like, Jesus, another two more pitches. If he would have called one of those balls, the next couple of pitches probably would have been a, 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 out uh, up against the wall. It was yeah. going so far outside. It, it, the the other meme that I that I saw that I love it's it's the impractical jokers, and they're like, and and, and call it a strike, and they're all laughing as he calls it a strike, right? And you're just like it's. <sighs> You're you're waiting for that, right? It, it, during during the main show today, uh, Chris Schaefer was in there, and he was like, "I I, I was waiting for Ashton Kutcher to come out and yell, you got punked, mm -hmm. like, but it, it's punk's not on anymore. It got canceled. Yeah. Hate to break it to you, this is real life, and this is happening to us. It's like just just give me do better. Let's, let's just get it right. Let's do better, and you know, yeah. let's not get in here and be like, I want you, you shouldn't be the center of the anything with this game. They shouldn't even mention you." throughout the entire game it should be nobody and it, it goes back to what i asked you at the beginning of the show name another umpire you can't because joe uh joe guy. kelly joe somebody joe somebody what the hell is his name i can't think, I think of his joe name. kelly's a pitcher he's a pitcher he's that guy that always instigates stuff with the glasses he's dude yeah, he, yeah. i like him <laughs> he likes to stir shit up <laughs> yeah he's no nonsense but you but you can't because they they're not awful at their job mm-hmm 
And if you're a good umpire, nobody knows who you are. But when you affect the games, you have the fans in the stands selling you, Angel. <laughs> yeah, instead of screaming and stuff like that. It's like, you know, I don't want to see calls go any way, to be honest with you. It's not like I'm sitting there like, oh, yeah, no, I want all the calls to go my way for the for the team I'm rooting for, this and that. I don't want that. I don't. I want it to be just even, Steven. No, there's no question on who won. There's no question on who lost. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if I'm a weirdo because of that, but I have no interest in like watching a bit. The same thing with football, right? A uh, uh, penalty is a penalty. If it ain't a penalty, it ain't a penalty. If it, I mean, you're just throwing flags just to help out a team. You know what I mean? Like, what are you doing? Like, what's going on? So, and the same thing with this, with these balls and strikes, man. Because once a batter is having a bad day, you call you you ring up Langford there. You know, it, it just really could affect the game negatively. And all of a sudden, everybody's just pissed. Like, what's right. that going to do? You know what I mean? They get up there, now they're swinging at everything because they know they have to. Right. And you're just, you go up, you don't know what to swing at. Mm -hmm. And you, like you said, you swing at everything. So, but you know what, guys? Let's 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 start a petition to get rid of Angel Hernandez. Is that what we do these days, right? We got to go online and start a petition. Oh, um, and, and we'll get rid of them. <laughs> is, that, is that what we got to do? Uh, let, let me know if you, if you're someone who knows how to start a petition to get rid, make things happen. Shoot us over an email, strikeupbeer at gmail dot com. Let's hook up and uh, we'll we'll have you on the show. We'll get a petition started and we'll make this happen. Like we, we there, there's certain priorities in this world. We got to make this world a better place. And the number one way we can make this world a better place is by getting rid of Angel Hernandez. <laughs> You're so crazy. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. Let's, let's make it happen. All right. But you know what, guys? Thank you so much for watching and listening. We appreciate you guys. And gosh darn it, we love you. Make sure you hit that like, that subscribe button, and tell a friend. Be like, hey, check this podcast out. They try hard. Because, you know, sometimes it's just about trying hard. Um, as always, I'm Alan. I'm RD. We'll talk to you guys later. Deuces. Oh, you play it from the beginning again? Yeah, it's just kind of the way it works. I don't have to, but, you know, but hey, thanks for listening to the SB Baseball Podcast. Ka-chow.